color is making such a huge comeback right now and I'm loving it. I'm just not a yellow person, not right now. Today we're going to have a really fun episode and I'm going to show you a lot about color. So many of you have asked about my mood boards and color stories and the process of picking out colors for your house. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how I do it. I love using colors to tell a story and to find the yin and the yang and the balance of the colors through the house as you walk through. And I can't wait for you to see it. This is really, actually, really, really, really beautiful. And I'm also gonna show you an update on the shotgun house where they've been doing a lot of demo and you can really see the floor plan coming together. We really hope you like what we're doing. Please let us know what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see more of. And as always, watch and subscribe. Thanks, y'all. So Ruth called me and she's helping one of her clients with a house renovation, but needed a little bit of help in the interior design side of things and laying out the backyard and that sort of thing. So I was gonna sit here, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, although hot in New Orleans, um, and I was gonna try to work on what the color story was. All right, so at a new house, um, it's a little bit of an unusual house and that it's got this really kind of French flat facade for New Orleans, um, but it got some damage during Hurricane Ida, so they had to gut it. And I'm doing a color story for the house and help them with a few more things. So just wanted to show you around real quick. So as you can see, it is completely gutted um, for the most part. So you walk in into the entry and this is a great little mud room. And then coming in here, got the big foyer with the beautiful staircase. And then we've got, this is the living room. And then this is the dining room. And coming back through here, you walk through this hall, the little closet, and then you've got, this is gonna be the study. You walk through another piece of hall right here. This is the one spot that kind of didn't get gutted that has this really pretty marble tile, really pretty marble sink, and it's a mandatory wallpaper. And then you've got a back stair right here. And then this is the area that they opened up. And you've got some French doors behind the plastic there. And this is gonna be the living space. This is gonna be the kitchen. This is what we're calling the larder, where there's gonna be a refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. And then this is gonna be their breakfast room. Just trying to figure out all the finishes and colors for the house. Lucy? Lucy, what are you doing? You're supposed to be in the car. Your job was to stay in the car and not come in the house. Come on, let's go. There's the do. Do, you're a good girl. You were waiting. I think it's real important that rooms flow and that the house sort of feels like a whole um, and not pieces and parts. So they might be different colors, but at least it all kind of works together. So this is kind of old school drafting. Um, take my masking tape. So I'm gonna take this down and then tracing paper, smooth it out. Fortunately, these plans that I have are not to scale, but at least I can start figuring out a little bit of the furniture layout as well as the color scheme. Okay, the cabinets, all those cabinets are Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee. So we've got Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee there. So that's kind of our, our number one. When you're doing colors, you need good natural light. Um, and obviously always, always, always put samples up on the wall before you paint. I think what I wanna to try to do is mix the Swiss coffee with some sort of color maybe in the other millwork. But I've gotta think about that. Maybe do a light, light color on the ceiling, but she wants it to feel light and bright in the back. So study is gonna be a dark blue or dark green. So I'm, I really like to think, what's the feeling when you enter the house? What's the feeling as you walk through the house? So if we've got the foyer, the entry here, and then 
we come through the foyer, then we enter into this other little vestibule, and then we go dark. So this is gonna feel really moody, really cozy in the study. So, so I might think about that as dark. You kind of start wanting to balance things out. So maybe we do like fun wallpaper in the mudroom, or maybe the foyer actually gets a really beautiful light wallpaper. Maybe this gets a darker color. I really believe in balance figuring out the yin and the yang between the modern and the traditional and the old and the new and how all that comes together. And likewise, I like to balance out color as well. So you can see I'm just putting in these little hatch lines to say, hmm, maybe, let's see, there's a wall right here and there's half bath here. And this is already kind of a light green. It's got a Amanda Tally wallpaper. Amanda Talley is an artist who I love, does really beautiful work here in New Orleans, and she also does fabric and wallpaper. So there's Amanda Talley wallpaper here. Maybe this, this, and this have something to do with each other. Maybe this and this have something to do with each other. This is kind of, this is a question mark, right? Like what to do with that stair hall that you always have to go through to get back here. And then you come back here and the ceilings here are super low. So it's a little bit of feeling the highs and the lows as well. And then I've got tons of paint samples laid out here of lots of different companies. I've got Benjamin Moore, I've got Faro and Ball, I've got Fine Paints of Europe. And this is a new company that Schumacher is carrying called Backdrop. And they seem to have some really, really, really pretty colors. I particularly have been loving this color that I'm gonna use in a living room. But they've got some really vibrant colors that some companies don't have. I'm just gonna kind of look through these guys. See, I'm really kind of liking that, that color. Look at that in that light. It's really beautiful beautiful blue. Maybe that starts being something for the study. Let's see. It's a color that I wanted to look at in Pharaoh and Balls. Pharaoh and Balls website is also really great. You kind of tell, pick out a color and they tell you what they're wanting and what they're looking for. Actually, that lavender is really gorgeous with that blue green. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go super yellow. This is a color called K Blue, um, which I was looking at for something else. But that could also be a beautiful color in the library. I have to say, I'm not always a yellow person. I'm kind of liking how this color story is starting to work itself out. It's just going through a paint deck and looking at what's good and what draws my attention. I'm just not a yellow person. Not right now. Watch, I'm gonna say that and next thing you know, I'm gonna be doing a yellow room. Uh-oh, did I just lose my purples? No, there they are. Closing that all up. So this is really, actually, really, really, really beautiful. So I think what I'd love to do is maybe find a really beautiful wallpaper in the foyer. I'm thinking in the living room that what I'd like to do is paint the walls this beautiful dovetail and then paint the millwork this pelt. The pelt is really, really purpley. So maybe we'll go with this hay and black. That's a little bit of something. So here. We're gonna say, we're gonna use this color, which is cake blue. Maybe actually the mud room had said dark, dark. So those start being in there. It's really, really beautiful. All right, wallpaper, don't know that. Light blue, light green, Amanda Tally. So that kind of plays off of the green in there. So I'm not sure what this guy is yet. And we go back here. Our cabinet Swiss coffee. This is that color I was really liking. 
might ask if we can change some of these cabinet colors. I'm gonna get in trouble if I do, but I'm thinking this could be so pretty back here. Really like this green brown as a highlight color against the Swiss coffee. It's a little vibrant and has a really good, fun feel. I think would provide a good energy in that back room. There. So obviously in the dining room, I'd love to do a kind of decornier paper or something that kind of brought these colors in and through. Love the idea of this for the mud room. Do kind of a really scenic mural in the dining room. And then maybe something else in the foyer. So I think this is a really good start. Next step, looking at wallpaper. Okay, so just had a meeting with the contractor and I'm super thrilled about all the progress he's made. Um, here we are coming through the front door. He's already demoed this door out of here and we've got the dining room area right here where you can see we've demoed the walls on either side, which is gonna create a great little hall around this beautiful old fireplace so that this bedroom space and the bedroom space over there can then access this bathroom. So both bedrooms will have kind of this hallway, which used to be a closet. So it really opens up the flow of the house. And then coming back through what's gonna be the dining room space. This is just a temporary wall until we can get this LVL beam out of here. This is the kitchen has been demoed, but this will be the new kitchen. We're gonna take this window out and put two new windows on the side so that we can run the hood up here. Then this is gonna be a little den sitting space. And then this is where you can see the ceilings are all super, super high in the original part of the house. And actually you can see how this is the center line of the house and it truly is equal. And you had the four bays coming through four bays this way, the kitchen being the third one, and then one back here. And then you have the three bays here. So these how were how these double shotguns were set up. And then usually you had these little shed additions where the original kitchens and bathrooms would have been. So here we get into much lower height space. That's gonna be the little powder room. And then this is gonna be the master bathroom in through here. I'm kind of standing in the shower. And then on the under, other side of the wall that they've already framed up is gonna be the master closet because this is gonna be the master bedroom. We're gonna add one more window in here because in order to give her a bigger master, we're not exactly following the dimensions of the bays. And so we wanna keep that symmetrical. So we're gonna add another window because the wall is gonna be pulled back over here and then this is gonna be another bedroom again accessing that hall. Super excited about the progress. The contractor Scenic Builders here in New Orleans has done a really great job and looking forward to see what comes. And then also I went by the tile store and picked up a sample of this tile. This tile is called Nola Multi Tile and it's actually a mosaic of little pieces of marble which is super fun. And I wanna kinda of pull in those colors in the rest of the project. And the owner really liked it, so that was great. So, a lot more to come. So I hope you liked this week's episode all about the color story. Next week, I'll be showing you how I add in the fabrics and the wallpaper. And then I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. I've been working on a house over in Mississippi that's nearing completion, and so I'm gonna be showing that to you. And also on my way back, it was a bit of a day trip, went to Mississippi and then on to Alabama to do some more antiquing for the Smiley Project and for Jenny's condo. So I hope you like and subscribe for more design ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching.